Hello everyone. Today we talk about our normal stress die and the possibilities to indicate extrusion processability. Welcome to another Gottfried Roundtable. My name is Dr. Joachim Sunder. I'm responsible for product application at Gottfried. Normal stress difference is responsible for the climbing up at a rotating bar, the so-called Weissenberg effect. It also causes die swirl, which is named as the Barus effect, and is responsible for an onset of flow instabilities and also die drool. Flow instabilities occur when you increase the throughput by extrusion. First it starts with a smooth extrudate and then the so-called shark skin effect is occurring and the onset is, can directly be related to first normal stress difference. The normal stress die can be placed below our capillary diameters, just below the barrel instead of the usual die, or it can be located at the headline rheometer MBR also instead of a die. The normal stress die consists of a slit part and a radial part, which is a quarter of a cycle. The pressure is measured in the barrel of the capillary rheometer or the online rheometer. It's here named as P1. In the slit die we have two pressure transducers, P2 and P3, which allows to measure shear viscosity. From P1, from the engines in the barrel to P2, we get the entrance pressure loss and measure elongation viscosity. In the radial part, we have another transducer, the P4, and from the pressure difference P3 and P4, we get the first normal stress difference. Shark skin can be measured directly by our shark skin die. The shark skin die is a slip die which consists of three uh, fast acquisition pressure transducers, which is, allows an effective detection of low instabilities starting from um, shark skin up to melt fracture. And the data we obtained now for six different LDPEs. LDPE1 has an onset of shark skin at a shear rate of 250. For LDPE2 and 5, shark skin is not to be seen. LDP3, we have an early onset of instabilities followed by LDP4 and LDP6 has a late onset at a shear rate of 500. First looking at shear viscosity, we cannot fully discriminate just using shear viscosity between the onset of low instabilities. LDP3 and 4 overlapped here and we see no difference in the onset, followed by LDPE1. This is then correct, but LDPE5 and 6, another overlap. LDPE5 has no flow instability and 6 has a late onset of flow instability. So a clear discrimination cannot be made. Looking now at the data from our normal stress die, here we plot the first normal stress difference versus entrance pressure loss and this ratio versus shear rate. First normal stress difference versus entrance pressure loss is an elastic dimensionless number and you can easily see a nice correlation is visible. Higher numbers means better extrusion processability. LDPE2 and 5 have no instabilities. The highest number, LDPE6, with the latest Onset at shear rate 500 is following LDPE1 at 250 and 4 and 3 have shown the lowest number of the ratio first normal stress difference versus entrance special loss. So we have a clear discrimination of the materials just by one measurement with our shark skin dye. So we can state that our normal stress dye can, is a nice tool to discriminate uh, between materials in regard of processability. The compact setup allows to determine 
First, nomenstresterferent aggregates in the range of production, and by this is able to give some correlation to exclusion properties. It allows to have a simultaneous detection of three rheological properties, elongation viscosity, shear viscosity, and first normal stress difference, so also less testing effort. It, we found a nice indication of processability in regard of the onsite flow instabilities. Sadlukal and Mosley also found that and the shaping of dye rule is also can be also correlated to the height of first normal stress difference. We have also less effort in the detection than using a Garvey dye to analyze rubber compounds. And it also, we have less effort in the visual observation of dye rule by using our normal stress dye. The normal stress dye measures directly the reason flow, for flow instabilities while shark skin dye measures just the instabilities. Also there, it allows a better analysis for compounding of material. Thank you for watching our Gottfried Roundtable. Stay tuned for another episode and have a nice day.